welcome to Catherine's tutorial in this video we will learn about what is uh, what are the hypothesis proposed based on like to explain the presence or absence of Rh factor in the last video we were discussing about blood grouping Rh antigen or D antigen what is erythroblastosis fetalis and what is Rh that is uh, rocum and here we are going to learn about what are the hypothesis of pre, uh, like proposed to explain the presence or absence of Rh antigen. There are two hypotheses have been proposed to explain the uh, existence or the presence or absence of antigen that is D antigen especially. So there are two hypotheses. The first one is Fisher and Ray's hypothesis. The next one is Venus hypothesis. We will just see one by one what is, we will just go with Fisher and Ray's hypothesis so that you can able to compare those two hypotheses. Fisher and Ray's hypothesis proposed by Fisher and Ray's. Okay. This hypothesis is also known as CDE nomenclature. So they are also named as CDE nomenclature. This theory explains about the presence of three different pairs of alleles. Three different pairs of alleles. So the pairs of alleles are nothing but it may be capital C, capital C, sorry, capital C, small c, capital D, small d, capital E, and small e. So three different pairs of alleles. So they were explaining about the existence of or the presence of three different pairs of alleles present at three different loci. Okay. So they are present in three different loci. Loci is nothing but the place where you can able to find genes. How the genes are arranged in the chromosome. The place where you can find the genes are known as loci. So three different pairs of alleles arranged in three different loci in a homologous chromosome. Homologous chromosome is nothing but in a pair of chromosome. You can able to find these three genes are closely linked. Three pairs of alleles present in three different loci of a chromosome. These three pairs of alleles are very closely linked. So even during crossing over we cannot able to divide them because they are very closely linked where the crossing over will not occur. So they always link together. If you take the possible genotypes of this particular uh, alleles, it may be capital C, capital D, capital E or it may be capital small c, small d, small e. It may be capital C, small d, capital E or it may be small c, capital D, small e. Or it may be small c, small c, small e, c, d, e or c, d. So only we can able to find all these genotypes or possible genotypes. According to them it is very simple. When wherever you can able to find this capital D. Here you can able to find capital D. And here you can able to find capital D. Wherever you can able to find capital D, the blood groups are Rh positive and they will have D antigen. When there is absence of capital D, it results in the formation of Rh negative blood group. This is what they explain. It is nothing but three different pairs of alleles present at three different loci in a single pair of chromosome or a homologous chromosome. They may able to form all these possible genotypes. Wherever you get able to find capital D in a genotype that gives rise to positive blood group. Wherever you can able to find small d it results in formation of negative blood group. The next hypothesis is Venus hypothesis. According to him there are 8 different alleles alleles are present in single locus. They are present at one place. According to him, the eight different alleles are 
R1, R2, R0, Rz. As we discussed earlier, the capital forms or the capital letters or the uppercase represents the uh, dominant features. The remaining four different types of alleles are R, R1, R1. So these four different types of alleles are representing the recessive form and these four different types represent the dominant forms. According to them, when wherever you can able to find capital R, so when the individual possess any of these allele, the blood group will be Rh positive. If the individual doesn't have uh, capital R, if he has double recessive R, that is RR1, RR11, RRY. So if they have any of these genotypes, their blood group will be Rh negative. So this is what Wiener explained. So when we compare Fisher and Ray's hypothesis with Wiener's hypothesis, according to Fisher and Ray's hypothesis, there are three different pairs of alleles and they result in the formation of negative or positive blood group. According to Wiener hypothesis, there are eight different alleles are present in single loci of a chromosome where they exhibit all like uh, dominant and recessive form. If the individual have dominant form, that is dominant capital R, their blood group will be Rh positive. If they are not going to possess capital R, if they have double recessive small r that represents recessive character, if they does, if they have this genotype, their blood group will be Rh negative. By the next video, we will learn about genetic disorders in detail. Thank you.